So guys, here I am replacing the throttle tube with the new one I finally got in the mail. Take this off and uh, would you looky here. You know, there's supposed to be a little metal bit on the end that hooks into there. Very cool. Yeah, that's perfect. Yo guys, what is going on? So I just realized that I never really intro this video, but basically the reason I haven't posted a video in like a week or so is because I went to replace my throttle tube because it was cracked, sort of broken. Turns out the throttle cable broke because it was hanging on by a tiny thread. Uh, so that happened, we went to replace it, and we just had to wait for the new cables to come in. They're still not supposed to come in until Saturday. While we had the bike apart, I've been wanting to change the signals on this thing because the big ones, stock ones, are just so ugly. So we did get the TST Echo LED turn signals. They look super sweet, super light, super good quality. So I am very much hyped to get this started. Just to compare size here, I mean, just insane difference. Insane difference, it's gonna look so much better. Okay, so like I mentioned, very small package. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. On the signal itself, very little guy. Here's it compared to a roll of duct tape. That's all I have. Comes with these bolt connectors. Typically, if you have a newer bike, there is going to be an adapter available through TST that allows you to plug it directly into the harness of the bike, just the plugs you have for the signals. Like I said, the jack to on the bike before me, totally messed up all the wiring. It's pretty well contained, but I just wish there were plugs, it'd be easier. But because there aren't, I'm gonna strip these off, just gonna twist them together. You know I'm not a wiring expert, but I think I can get a pretty good connection in there, so they'll be fine. I'll make sure it's very tight. Wrap it up super tight in electrical tape, it should probably be fine. Also guys, to touch on the fender eliminator that's already on the bike, because uh, that's probably gonna be important for the application, DRC Edge or Edge 2 kit, not completely sure, uh, just something to consider. These are able to mount right into the side of it though, just where the uh, big stop turn signals were before, so it's kinda helpful. So I just finished up all the wiring. Like I said, it's not the most beautiful job. I could have used bolt connectors. I didn't, just like the guy before me, so I can't really complain about him. And like I said, it was pretty clean the way he did it. Still would have preferred the connectors, but it's okay. We've got everything wired up. Don't take wiring advice from me, ever. Please make fun of me in the comments for the way I wire, because it's terrible. But it works, so everything's all wired up. Uh, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit so it all looks good, but we'll flip it over. This is how it's gonna look. We just need to get these guys tightened into place. LED brake light, now we've got LED signals, so they look super good. They don't hyper flash, even though they're LED, because we've already got the Zeta hand guards up front. So, uh, we already have the relay in there. But look good, I'm gonna get that tightened up, wiring all cleaned, and get it mounted back on. Alright guys, so install is complete. It just looks so, so, so much better. You can barely tell they're even on there until you turn them on. And then they are very, very bright. I love how they're pretty much the same width or even less width than these little screws uh, that hold the uh, back fender on. So if you go down, you know they're not gonna break. Super cool, looks so good, super hype on it. Just for size comparison, <laughs> this is the difference we're looking at. This to this and it's just way brighter. Anyways guys, thank you for checking out that video. I know it's like a super short one, sort of a filler until I can ride again. We've still got this guy spinning around here. Wait till we get all these new cables in. Then we'll be golden back to wheelie practice. So keep an eye out for another Moto vlog coming sort of soon. Hopefully this part comes in tomorrow and we can get it fixed tomorrow, but I'll catch you next time. Peace.